I'm Marty, and I use they, them pronouns. I'm Elliot, I also use they, them pronouns. And we're going to teach you how to make an eggplant parmesan. Alright, so the first thing you want to do before you even get started is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then, you're going to want a glass baking dish, like it is. You can use a metal one that's the same shape and size. I like glass, it's a little bit easier to A, see what you're doing, and B, to um, clean it afterwards as well. Uh, the three main ingredients in eggplant parmesan are sauce, tomato sauce of any kind, made this just a little while ago, eggplant cutlets, which we made together earlier today, mm -hmm. uh, and cheese, and then also basil as well, which we're going to add in a moment. But what you're doing when you're building up an um, eggplant parmesan, chicken parmesan, any kind of parmesan, is basically creating layers. So we're going to be alternating with layers of sauce, eggplant, and cheese as we go through. And we're going to kind of play with different types of cheese as well. And I'll talk about those as we get going. Um, as we're doing that, we're also going to be putting in some basil um, just to add a little bit of flavor, add a little bit of texture to it as well, and add a little bit of color. And that'll really kind of bring everything together in a way that's pretty fresh because the sauce, the cheese, the eggplant can get kind of heavy. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first layer that we're going to do is we're going to put some tomato sauce on the bottom to start. And that's going to uh, help us from getting the eggplant or the cheese sticking to the bottom to a point where it burns. So we're going to start with a layer of sauce. And I'm just going to spoon that in just a bit. I'm trying to angle my arms in a way that you can see the sauce and the pan. This is just a basic tomato sauce. Usually when I make this, I like to use a Pomodoro sauce because it's kind of on the thicker side. It's got a pretty even consistency, but you can use whatever you want. You can like play around with flavors as far as like if you want to do like a mushroom like red sauce, if you want to do like a tomato basil, you can make your sauce from scratch if you want. You can use something from like a spaghetti sauce can, whatever you like. But yeah, that's going to be perfect for our first layer. And the next layer we're going to add is going to be some eggplant. Add a layer of eggplant. I'm going to do a layer, and then I'm going to have you do a layer. Okay. Okay? Cool. So, what we're going to do with these eggplants, and again, wash your hands before you do anything, is we're going to kind of space them throughout the pan. And you're just kind of creating like a little bit of a puzzle. I like to make it so that you can kind of like slice it when it's done almost. But, you know, these are cooked pretty darn well, not to toot our own horns, but like, doot doot, doot doot. So these should cut pretty well, regardless of like, you know, where you cut into it. But if your eggplant's a little on the tougher side, you might want to try and like stagger your layers so that you can like make even cuts like that. That's just our timer saying the oven's preheated. Perfect. Yeah, so like that's plenty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cheese in it. So we have four different types of cheese here, um, which is plenty of cheese. We have sprinkle cheese, the Parmesan Romano blend. We have pizzeria uh, shredded cheese, which is a blend of low moisture, part skin, mozzarella, and provolone cheeses. We have a log of mozzarella that uh, was unfortunately frozen in the fridge just a little bit through no one's fault through no one's fault <laughs> but uh we have except this log the refrigerator of, except the refrigerator but we have this log of mozzarella mm -hmm. um and then we have sliced provolone as well uh we're gonna save our provolone to do once we get closer to the top we're gonna start building from the bottom with the mozzarella and the pizzeria cheese so i'm gonna open this up and like, you don't have to have like a million different types of cheese. You don't have to be like fancy about it or anything too. Um, pretty much like, even if you just have like the shredded bag of like mozzarella, that's gonna be fine. Like, it's cheese, it's sauce, it's fried eggplant. What more do you want? And I'm gonna space this just in a way that is putting a slice on each one. We're going to kind of mirror that with the basil in a minute as well, and I'll show you how. Yeah, we're getting the frozen part. But the nice thing with baking the Parmesan is that it doesn't actually matter too, too much that it's frozen, because it's going to thaw out as it's 
baking. Have I ever seen frozen mozzarella? No. <laughs> but is it the worst thing I've ever seen? Yes. Also oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very disappointed. I know, and I'm sorry. But it... mozzarella didn't deserve that. <laughs> it did not. But, you know, it's the fridge's fault. It's nobody's fault. Right, cool, and look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, you can never tell that it was a... Uh, you can never tell that I can't feel my thumb right now. Mm -hmm. A little frozen. All right, so again, we're going to mirror that same kind of staggering with the basil. So I rinsed this off. We're going to take the stems off, like pretty much as close to the stem as we can get. And I'm going to put them kind of in between, actually. And like... You can do it however you want. You can make it as pretty or as not as you want. I called myself out earlier for how much I say. It's really about what you want in making these videos. But, you know, it's true, man. The cool thing about cooking is you can make whatever you want, which is actually what led me to be really interested in cooking, which is that I was like, Man, if I figure out how to make food that I like, I can have it whenever I want. Yeah, that's going to be really, really pretty. Any questions? No. Cool. So then we're going to cover this up with a layer of sauce. We're going to be kind of a little meh about it. We're not going to be too, too careful. Like, I'm just kind of going to slosh it on there, for lack of a more delicate term. Yeah, so then in building up the next layer, uh, which I'm going to have you do, uh -huh. it would be good to kind of space it in those spaces as well so that we kind of get like ah. one consistent thing, especially because with the texture of the eggplant that we cooked off, it's tender enough that you can like just straight up slice straight down. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I feel ya. Right. So like in these corners or just in between? Like in the corners, like ah, okay. like, uh, like that. <gasps> okay. <laughs> fatherhood feels like? Probably. I'm just so proud of you. Aww. I love learning this. <laughs> I'm gonna put two little guys right there. Do it. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, like, the thing that you're more likely to struggle with than anything when making this is running out of space going vertically, so. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is there any more eggplant that needs to be uh, anywhere? You can probably add, like, a little on the Oh, ah, okay. Okay. I see you in here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You're putting down that plant. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing down this eggplant. Throwing down this eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Gracefully placing. Don't be like me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's probably good. Oh, okay. So add another layer towards the end. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now, you want to pick your cheese. <gasps> okay, um, we're going to do a shredded. Cool. Let's try to shred it. Because we don't have that mozzarella, and we're going to save it for a little and put it on top, right? Yep. So we just want it on top of the eggplant slices, or? You can do it all over, you can do it. Okay. okay. Ooh, look how big this cheese is. I know, I was not expecting that to be this thing. Some chunky boys. Look at some fancy cheese. Where is this cheese from, Elliot? Crystal Farms. Crystal Farms. Where is that exquisite land? I got it from Cub. Oh. Well, color me impressed. I mean, didn't even realize how big it was. I didn't either. This is real, real pizza cheese. Yeah. I think it's almost like a diamond farm, I would say. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was fancy. Oh, it's fancy okay. than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Okay. The diamonds are very useful in industry. They actually email for diamond tip drills. And marriage, I guess. Is that good? Yep. More basil? Yep. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I like a lot of basil. Wait, Mom, I'm going to keep this over here. Alright. I was going to throw them over. 
Yeah, leave so much basil that you can get like really liberal in there with that. Yeah, put this sort of here. You can do the whole, you can rip it. There's something that I really love about making Italian food and like particularly with like you know, putting together things that are layered like baked beans and you know, parmesans and lasagnas and stuff like that and that like even along the lines of like it's whatever you want, everything is so intentional. And there's something that's like really beautiful about being oh, that hands on Ooh. with it and really planning where each individual leaf goes and each, you know, type of cheese and how the flavors play together. But not to be like poetic or like, I don't know, not to romanticize putting together an eggplant farm. Uh, but that's what appeals to me about it. I have a criminal who is climbing on Sally, who's recording. But you can't have an eggplant farm. Number one, you would hate it. Number two, it's not the kitties. Sauce? More sauce? Yes. Okay. More sauce. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm touching the cat. That sauce smells really good. Well, thanks. I'm pretty proud of how well it came together for how quickly it came together. Along the same lines of being intentional with Italian food, too, like, you can get as fancy as you want, like, with making sauces in particular. You know, you can steep your tomatoes all day long and infuse your sauce with fresh basil from your garden in the, you know, Napoli region and, like, everything. Or you can chop up some onions and some garlic and throw some canned tomato puree in it. Do we need more sauce on top later? Yeah, we want to save a little bit. That's probably plenty. I okay. Because I'm going to save that for the top. All right. And then do you want to finish it or do you want me to? I'll finish it. All right, cool. So you want to take that eggplant mm -hmm. and space it evenly. Oh, this is the one with the weird amount of eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, hello. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're highlighting how many dirty dishes we have, you little jerk. They don't need to know. <laughs> okay. We can cut that. <laughs> post. <laughs> Fix it in post. <laughs> I didn't get any dishes in the shot, just her being really cute. <laughs> Fix it in post. <laughs> I'm going to leave in all the things of you. Like, Fix it in post. <laughs> okay. What, like, what would be, like, we have very few eggplant slices left. Yeah. So... This one's a weird little offshoot. Maybe that'll put yeah. one right there. And then... Oh. As it's baking, too, that mozzarella at the bottom's gonna, like, Ooh. melt. That's the word I was looking for when it goes from heat. Melting. Okay. So, <laughs> as it's baking, that mozzarella on the bottom's gonna melt, um, which will kind of make it sink overall. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we use, like, kind of a smaller end of average size eggplant. Um... And we each ate like a slice. Oh yeah, I wanted to try. I, I wanted to try it, so I ate some of it. Oh, it was a good eggplant. I wanted to try it too. I um, just eat it like that. How's that? Seems that's fine. Fairly eat. Let's go like that. That is completely perfect. So before I put the provolone and the sauce on, I am gonna take some Parmesan Romano blend. We're gonna be fancy tonight, and I'm just gonna sprinkle. A whole bunch. So is it, would we need Parmesan to call it an eggplant Parmesan? Mm, not for debate. You don't need Parmesan and honestly like Italian cooking again you can get as traditional as you want or you can be as catered to your specific taste as you want. In order for it to technically be eggplant Parmesan you're gonna want to grate some Parmesan on top. But ah, okay. most people don't do that. Uh, most times when you order eggplant parmesan in a restaurant, it's going to be the kind that we're going for, which is that provolone and the combination of the different cheeses. Um, parmesan does have like a slightly sharper taste than like mozzarella, mm -hmm. um, but provolone is like a pretty good in-between with those as well. So we're going to add 
A little more basil on top. You want to help me sprinkle some basil? Grab some basil. Let's put some basil. And I like a lot of basil. There's this pizza place near our house growing up called Vinny's. And Vinny's, sorry, it's going to be a family story. Buckle up. This is like Italian name, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. Vinny actually went to the, the Vinny went to the elementary school that I went to. Um, and he always donated free pizza for the last day of school. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, but so Vinny's had a deal where you could get two large pizzas um, and you got a two liter of Coke for free. Um, so my family did that a lot because they have a lot of brothers and sisters. Um, and I have a very distinct memory of putting way too many like basil flakes on my pizza and trying to blow some off and then later on being like, why is there basil in my Sprite? <laughs> You know, curse of Vinny. <laughs> Not really. It's the curse of Marty and their love of basil. All right. Awesome. So we are going to take that sauce and we're just going to kind of, again, get it right in there on top. We're going to get it as even as we can. And if your Parmesan does not look exactly like this, if you want it with more sauce, if you want it with more cheese, if you want it with less sauce, anything, go nuts. The sky's the limit. Again, what I do really love about Italian food is that everything is so personalized to you and what you like that once you start to figure out like what balances of flavors you like, you know, like are you a sweet person? Are you a salty person? Are you a garlic person? Do um, you need more sauce? You know, we can open one. Yeah, it can't hurt. So yeah, Elliot's gonna grab, they have some sauce that is just like pasta sauce in a jar. We can cover up one out for me. Yes. <laughs> Maybe big star. Oh, that is like, I got a web. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. Didn't realize it was gonna open that easily. I was about to ask for help from our strong housemate who's been on the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Is that, uh, how old is that? This is a questionable I moment. think I re bought it recently. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I'm almost... We oh, okay. I right. bought it, like, last month. It's fine. Okay. Best Buy. May 12, 2021. Okay, good. We good. I'm gonna cut that. There was a time when I had a really old pasta sauce. And I had cut it, but I just want to make sure. Cool. Ooh. That's a bit much, but that's okay. Alright, yeah. So that's actually even going to add an extra layer of flavor too, because you can see like the difference between those two sauces, that it's going to kind of even it out, round it out a little more, which will be nice. Provolone? Provolone! 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 While you do that, I'm going to wipe up that sauce that fell on the floor. Provolone. How do I layer this provolone? Well, I'm so glad you asked. So, you're going to open it usually helps. Open the sauce, Elliot. I'm working. Open the cheese, Elliot. I'm working on it. I pour the thing. What if the purple is frozen too? <laughs> I there. would be surprised. Okay. Alright. So all you're going to do is just make like a overlapping mat of purple. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Up to the corner? Yep. All the way up to the corner. Like that? Yep. Cool. And we got ten slices, so... <laughs> so make them count. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have them touch slightly. Cause I don't know if I have enough cheese. Touching me. Touching you. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, anyway. Come on. <laughs> Fix it and pose. <laughs> Making me think of driving back from the beach with my mom. How many slices we got left? Two. We got two. All right, rip them in half. I didn't buy enough. Rip them in half. That's fair. That's good. That's good. Honestly, that's how I usually do. 
That's a good solution. Thank you, I'm full of them. I should just go like this. I was gonna, there we go. We got a little bit more of the other cheese on top. Mm. So fill in the edges. Oh no, <laughs> it's dropped on the floor. Listen friends, we all have fun here. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Yes, yeah, so if you want to add more cheese, you can. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's, I just feel bad about those cracks. You're completely fine. The cracks are completely fine. A little more. This is going to be so cheesy. Ah, uh, yes, it really is. Cheese vacation. <laughs> Fix it in post. <laughs> You think that's good? I think so. Okay. All right. So our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. 350 degrees. What is that? 350 degrees. Neil deg deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna take our pan. We're gonna put the whole thing on the top rack, and we're gonna put it in for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna check it at 15 and see um, how it's doing. And I would suggest that you do the same. Um, and again, the eggplant's already cooked, everything's already cooked, so you don't want to do it for too, too long, because the cheese on top especially can burn. But we're going to start with 15 and see how it's looking. And if we need to, we'll go to 20. See you then! Alright, so our timer just went off. Um, I took a quick peek and it's looking pretty good, so we're going to flood it on out. Um, and yeah, I'm using two mitts because the pan is pretty heavy with everything in it. Oh, perfect. So yeah, sizzling. The sauce is still pretty hot. She's all kind of melted together. Nice and beautiful like. Beautiful. We did that. We did that. Look how beautiful We did do it that. Is. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. Yeah. So again, like you can add as much eggplant as you want. You can keep it going, layer it up as high as it'll go. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is if you are going to go to a higher level, uh, that as the sauce is boiling, it would boil over if you get too, too high up. But yeah, we're going to slice it and dig right in. And that is how you make an eggplant farm. With Elliot. <laughs> Thanks for the boast. <laughs>